The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms was directed by Eugene LeRae and originally released in 1953. Based on a short story by Ray Bradbury with effects by Ray Harryhausen, this is one atomic-aged monster that is not to be missed. When the military tests nuclear bombs in the Arctic Circle, they mistakenly thaw a giant man-eating dinosaur known as the Radosaurus. Ray Harryhausen, Radosaurus, get it? Of course, the only witness is physicist Thomas Nesmith, played by character actor Paul Hubschmidt. Nesmith then spends the majority of the first half of the film trying to convince colleagues and the authorities that the beast exists. Meanwhile, the amphibian-like Radosaurus has taken to the ocean and is heading south on a journey toward its ancient home at the base of the Hudson River. Along the way, it menaces everyone in its path, including sailors, lighthouse keepers, and a pair of scientists and a diving bell. Eventually, it reaches the base of the Hudson River where it comes ashore and enters, you guessed it, New York City, where it runs amok in a Kong-like rampage of destruction. The film began pre-production in 1951 under the title The Monster from Beneath the Sea. During this time, Harryhausen discovered Bradbury's story, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms, in the Saturday Evening Post. The story mostly focused on a prehistoric dinosaur that destroys a lighthouse. Recognizing that their movie script had a similar sequence, he brought it to the attention of the film's producers. Eager to capitalize on Bradbury's popularity, they purchased the rights to the story and changed the film's title to match it. The creature, as it was written in Bradbury's story, closely resembles a brontosaurus but Harryhausen decided to change it to more of a Tyrannosaurus-type predator. At one point, they considered having the beast snort flames from its nostrils, but that was dropped prior to production due to the cost. However, this effect can be seen in drawings of the creature that appear on the poster. 16 months after the film's release, the atomic flame concept would be used to great effect in the similar-themed smash hit Godzilla. Grossing over $5 million, it was considered a big hit and opened the door for other Monsters on a Rampage films from that era, including Them, The Giant Behemoth, and a successful theatrical re-release of King Kong. I didn't see this movie until my senior year of college. That was the first time I had access to cable TV, and I caught it one night on AMC, back when they were known as American Movie Classics, because they actually, you know, play classic movies. Watching it now, an unfortunate standout to me is the lack of interesting characters. If you're looking for a three-dimensional protagonist with a compelling backstory and an interesting arc, look elsewhere. I found Nesmith to be pretty one-dimensional, and his efforts to get someone to believe him feel like filler designed to take up space between the scenes where the monster shows up. With that said, those scenes featuring the monster are top-notch. In many ways, Harryhausen and the Radosaurus are the true stars of the movie. Things start to pick up in the third act during the New York Rampage, and it's here where the creature of the title finally gets a chance to shine. This is where the real fun can be had. If you're just looking for some monster mayhem and are willing to spend a little bit of time to get there, The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms delivers just that. And that's good enough for me. Have you seen The Beast from 20,000 Fathoms? How does it stand up to other rampaging monster movies? What other similar movies would you recommend? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks again for watching. If you like this video, please check out some of my other reviews. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time, have a good one.